in an accident on the La Paz stretch of the N1 highway on Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023, has renewed calls by some Ghanaians for authorities to enforce laws on usage of footbridges across the capital. The accident, which led to the severe injury of two people with one in critical condition, occurred after a Mr. Bushi vehicle allegedly failed its brake veering off onto the pedestrian walkway at La Paz and knocking into three other vehicles, hitting the two in the process. The following report examines the accident-prone La Paz road and pedestrian behavior in using constructed footbridges. A man and a woman were knocked down at around 5 p.m. on Tuesday evening on the stretch. But for traders and pedestrians at La Paz, this is just one of the many incidents that happen here weekly due to the speeding of vehicles and carelessness of pedestrians. In a month, they say not less than 10 accidents happen on the stretch. Philomena Amua, an official of the Ghana National Fire Service, is a good Samaritan who took the woman involved in the accident to the MAP hospital in La Paz and later to the Kolebutichin hospital. And she narrates what she witnessed to City News. I was in my room and I had a car crash. So I quickly ran out since I have people around where I stay. When I came, I saw people pulling out to a scene. And I asked what has happened. And I was told a car has crashed two people, a boy and a woman. So I quickly asked where the woman was, and they showed me. When she was in between the two cars. So I checked her pulse and she wasn't off, like the way the crowd were insinuating. So I quickly organized a taxi from, for her, and we rushed her to La Paz Hospital. When we got to La Paz, they set the scene it's critical, so they can't admit it. So we should rush to 37. But with the way the situation was, if I'm supposed to take her 37, she wouldn't survive. The guys, there are a lot of people around him. I can't even pull through him. But with the lady, because of the particles on the road, nobody was willing to walk through to her. So they were just standing a little bit far away from me. So I have to step on them to go and check her. And since I realized she was still alive, I mean, we have to do something. Despite the apparent danger and less than 24 hours after the incident, people are still refusing to use the footbridge. We watch for minutes as pedestrians find every little avenue to cross the road just a few meters from the footbridge. They were not even deterred by the blaring horns and the top speed of the oncoming vehicles. They tell City News the distance between the bus stops and the footbridge is too wide and they would rather stick to their unsafe crossing habits. Research from the National Road Safety Commission indicates that vehicles that ply the La Paz stretch of the N1 highway use speed limits of between 90 to 120 km per hour, contrary to the stipulated 80 km per hour. But this is not even enough to deter pedestrians who would rather cross in the middle of the road than use the La Paz Abrantia footbridge that has been constructed to aid crossing purposes. Today we are here to find out exactly why pedestrians will do this. Actually, the footbridge, like, when like you join the footbridge, it's very difficult. That's why more, more, like, most, most of the times you cross the road over here. When you say it's difficult, what do you mean? Like, the cars, they used to drop us here, so going back sometimes really difficult. That's why I used to cross the road just like that. So the distance? Yeah, that's the distance, the distance, yeah. If it was closer, you would have used the Yes, place. please. You do fear, but sometimes too, we are in a hurry, so we don't have any option than to cross there, like to take the race. I just want to pick a cow over there, that's why, yeah. But you can use the bridge too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why are you using the bridge? Hmm? I was from the, just this place, that's why I, I, did not, I did not focus my mind to the this bridge side. Mabel Bedu has had a near-death experience using the stretch, and after almost getting hit by a speeding vehicle, she vows never to cross the road without using a footbridge. She tells City News another relative of hers died on the stretch due to an accident, and the memory of the incident would not allow her to cross the road carelessly. 
So he was using, I think, around this, where the motorbike is. So he was crossing, and then he is not, um, he's somehow physically challenged, okay? So whilst crossing, he didn't see another car coming from the other direction. So he was being knocked down on the street, and another car just... <laughs> They have to, I think, from the left side. So we only had the upper part. When they started the road, the very first time they started using the road, that was when I just had, I was back from work, and then I just saw a crash. So I just heard screams, like, can't happen, can't happen. But fortunately for me, I, I, didn't, I didn't fall. So that was how it happened. One way many believe would help tackle the rate of accidents on the stretch is for law enforcers to ensure pedestrians always use the footbridge. I observed two accidents on this stretch before. There is a woman who wanted to cross. That was flight up, a flight up. The bridge was there. She wanted to cross from the other side, and a car coming from Kasua hit her instantly, and she fell down. And if the government can enforce a law whereby they prevent people from crossing the road, and then by using the bridge instead. We are traffic light. Now say, I say, yeah, almost may yet. In the the other man's accident, they were from Gakan. Then we are say police for waha. Now traffic light, and so say, yeah, say don't be too many in terms of my. So what you see? If you say car, no, no traffic light, and M A E N S O Y N O. Obey them. Any person who begs in a hobby brave, almost obey or margin so almost who them. In the in the accident in the bed, everybody. In the wake of numerous road accidents that are happening on this stretch, some Ghanaians are calling on authorities, especially law enforcers, to whip pedestrians who are refusing to use the footbridge into line and cause them to use this footbridge instead of crossing in the middle of the road and putting their lives in danger. Reporting for City News, my name is Adjua Tenkrama Domina.